All right, this is 809 Jacaranda Drive. And we're gonna start with the clean out. It's in the front yard. And that ties right to the city tap. It goes right to clay. So the clean out right next to the driveway, that sucker pops right down into the city lateral. So now we're going to finagle to go back the other direction. So now we're going from the clean out towards the house. The line is cast iron. Once we get up towards the side of the house, there should be another clean out. So a little, a little bumpy. It's not in terrible shape, it's just a little bumpy. Definitely have some uh, cast iron scale in here. So this, this line could really benefit, you see all this debris in here. Uh, from from sewer jetting for sure. So I'd get with slaughter plumbing and uh, yeah, absolutely. See the how the toilet paper is just kind of hanging up. Is what it'll do is it'll sit on that on that cast iron scale. So I just kind of broke the dam free, if you will, just with this little camera. So this would absolutely benefit from uh, from some jetting. That debris holds up the toilet paper, and then the toilet paper kind of makes a dam and holds up the water. And sewer jetting will get, get all that debris out of there. That's why it's holding this little bit of water, it's just from that, that little dam down there. So here's our PVC 90, and there's that next clean out. So clean out to clean out, um, definitely could uh, could use some jetting just to get all that debris out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull back, and then I'm gonna go to the next clean out, and we'll inspect underneath the house and uh, get an idea what that looks like. I can see the water running in the clean out now that uh, just shoving that camera through there. Kind of broke that little toilet paper dam up. It's draining here now, I can see it. See? There it goes. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the water. Water's flowing through there now just by running the camera. So. You want all that water to come out when you flush the toilets, so jetting will definitely help. All right, so now we're going through the other clean out, the one that we just ran to from the street up towards the house. And we're traveling towards the house underneath the, uh, the pool deck. All this is PVC. We got a little bit of a dip there. 
a little bit of a belly in in the PVC. I'm gonna stop and locate that on the way back. So this is the cast iron under the house. So we got a combo here. It looks like it probably picks up the uh, the kitchen. Cast iron under the house actually looks pretty good. You notice the um, another combo. That's a three inch. That's picking up another bathroom. Um, you'll notice. At the beginning of the video, the cast iron between the cleanouts, you saw all that cast iron scale debris kind of sitting in there. Whereas this one, it uh, you know, it looks pretty good. So that's the end. That's probably a a remodel, either a toilet or a shower drain. So the line under the house, under the house, actually is in really good shape. I don't see any issues there. Um, the issue I do see is obviously uh, the belly which I'm gonna locate now and um, the debris in the line between the two clean outs that's quite a long run of cast iron so I think cleaning that would definitely help with uh, any backups so let's get back in the PVC so now we're coming straight under the pool deck And I'm gonna stop the camera right here and I'm gonna locate exactly where this belly is. All right, so I've got that area located. And what I'm gonna do, I kinda wanna flow test the house. So let's run up here a little ways. I'm gonna go in the house and run some water. And we're gonna check the flow before the belly and after the belly.
me? Yeah, me. I'm just walk through it. I don't know if I shut it all the way. Do you think the belly? I mean, it can't be here. I dug all this up. It's right here. I put a rock where it is. I didn't want to spray paint your paint. See, that's exactly the spot you told that for we dug. It's and there. they actually came out. The plumbing company when it was all gotten to them. This was this was from right there. It, it, this must have been like an addition or what or something. What this, this is, is PVC. This is PVC. It runs to here about seven feet. Yeah. And then it high, it dives in when the after it makes a turn, it changes to cast iron. Right. So everything on it has cast iron. Now from that clean out, right, all the way out is cast iron, not PVC. So there's two issues. In here, you definitely have depth in the line. No doubt about it. From this clean out, the other clean out is plastic, but all I did was just cut the cast iron at the end. Right after the last clean out, it's your city cap. It's right there. It changes to clay. Between here and here, there's a lot of cast iron scale debris inside of that pipe. So you don't have to dig it up if you don't want to. You can have a slaughter come out. They have a jet machine. And they can just jet that. While they're here, I would have them, because it shouldn't be any more expensive, I would have them blow out the grease in their kitchen line. Just, just if you're gonna hire to do that, I'm not gonna do that. I can't get in the vent stacks because those covers are riveted. You understand? So they, I don't want to drill rivets out of here. <laughs> nice metal roof, man. Yeah, to get in that one, somebody bent the rivet shit out of it. I'm, I, I can't do. It. They're okay. too beautiful, man. So I was able to run from here all the way under the house, all the way to the end. Now, I didn't get in the branch lines, but I can see the condition of the pipe all the way under through the whole house. It looks, good. It looks great, man. Okay. It looks awesome. I don't see any issues there. So the, only thing is right here. the only issue is right here. There's, it's definitely a sag. Um, I'll tell you this, too. If it's not broke, don't fix it kind of thing. That's how I kind of... Do well, you think the reason that keeps standing up in the kitchen is for the grease? Grease that we use for our is for so it's us. Let's use our own. Just throw more in the trash on the Yes. Absolutely. Because it's going to get so bad that you're going to have to pay somebody to come out here again. You know what I'm saying? Um, you said this is worth having them come out and blow? You, I'll send you the video. You can decide for yourself. Um, if it was my house, I would. Because they can blow this out at the same time. And at least just Dude, clean. Wow. Just, they can just clean this belly. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how they charge on the jet, so the house doesn't need jet. The house looks great, dude. It looks awesome. I wonder why it the really does. camera guy said there was a foul here. Then when we dug it up, and the plumber came back out and said, man, this couldn't be any straighter. Then why there's too many little belly in there? I'll show you. you want to no, I believe you. I just don't understand. Don't, but yeah, I, mean, I saw the pipe exposed. I how, exposed much, how much pipe did you expose? And I had from probably four feet from the almost probably the length of this cake from that end of that table to here. No shit. And I'm telling you, it was I, I blew up the whole ice brick stack all over. The so you didn't just blow on little sec, you blew on big sec. No, I, I, I can defer him somewhere. Like I don't know if I would do it again unless, unless for for that to be a problem, the whole house is going to back up. Sooner or later, you're probably going to have to do it again. I feel bad that you plug it all up. But yeah, it, there's definitely a belly, man. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I hate to tell you that after you dug all this shit it's up. so weird. So I've got water running in it now. I just wanted to look at the flow before and after the belly. Oh, the water on. You guys stay here. I don't know if you're allowed to go out here with the... Oh, I closed the gate. Sorry, Anybody need a poop? Y'all poop already? Maybe we'll just run away. <laughs> I took it. I took anyway. Come on, go to the bathroom. Come on. Okay, so... You can see all the uh, you can see all the flow coming at me. So the right now this whole I'm inside the cast iron of the house, and see how the whole pipe's filled with water. So what I wanted to do, see how good it's flowing here. So it's all flowing fine, and you're gonna see it drop down to the belly. Bloop, right there. That thing's amazing. Now so how I, do you know where you are? Uh, I have another machine that tells me where the camera head is. Gotcha. So that belly. We can get a length on it. I'll go in the house and turn the water back off. No, it's okay. So we can see here, you know, we're starting to come out of it, but I've got water running now, so it's going to be deceiving. But let me see how long it is. Let me go turn that water off real quick. All right, let's take a look at this. So on, here, on, see, you guys go inside. See how the pipe is dry now? 
So right now, I'm going this way towards your patio table, okay? That's PVC, obviously. See how the camera goes underwater? Mm -hmm. So at 20 feet, it goes underwater. This is what's referred to as a belly. So it starts at 20, and then it ends at 25. So it's five foot long. So see how the pipe's dry now? So now I'm coming out of the house. See how it go underwater? It sits yeah, so you got you got a dip in it. So what happens? Like if the, is that like a is the pipe? Like is it a poop line or is it? Yeah, the, every every all the the wastewater that you run in the house comes through here. So your showers, your your kitchen sink, your bathroom sinks, your toilets, everything comes through here. Everything. So if we flush nasty stuff, like girly it's stuff, all like coming it's, through it's here, it's gonna sit in that belly. It could sit in that belly. It could sit in the belly and, and cause it back up. Enough of a push. Yeah. If it can't push it through. Eventually, we'll it's have It's going to back the house up. Right. Yeah. What I can do, if you want, is um, I can, so we know it's five feet. I can locate the start of it so you know exactly where it is. You want to do that? Uh, if, it's, if it's quick, I mean, it's, it's up to you. It's not a big deal, man. All right, so we located exactly where that belly begins and ends uh, underneath the, the pool deck. So two items I would address would be you know, obviously if there's consistent backups would be, um, I would address the belly and then I would, I would jet clean the, um, the main line. So even though the clean outs are PVC, between the clean outs underground, like we saw earlier is, uh, is cast iron pipe. From the last clean out towards the house, going under the pool deck, all that pipe is PVC. Thanks for watching.